You may have noticed that some audio events in your Studio One song have this icon. And you can change the gain of the event, you can create a fade in or fade out, tune or transpose this event anymore. How did that happen and how can we fix that and what the hell does this icon mean? This chain icon indicates that this event is an audio part. An audio part is a container that can hold one or more audio events. And it's created every time you select audio events and merge them by pressing G on your keyboard or by going into the event menu and choosing merge events. And now you can see that it just got this little chain icon, which means that you have just created an audio part. An audio part itself does not have the same options that an audio event has. Now what can we do to bring back the gain and fade handles? Many people recommend to just bounce the event. This indeed gets rid of the chain icon and renders the whole audio part into a new audio event with all the options we want to have. But it also creates a new audio file on your disk, which takes up additional space and which is in most cases totally unnecessary. Why create new audio data if we already have the audio data? And there are actually two much better options. The easiest thing you can do is to just double click the audio part to open it in the editor. And here you see the content of this audio part, which is actually the original events that you want to edit. And here you can still change everything you want, change the volume, make a fade in or fade out, transpose the event and so on. So just open the editor to have access to your original audio event, as easy as that. But what if you really want to get back these audio events into the arrangement? Again, no need to bounce because bouncing creates additional copies of your audio. Just select the event. Go to audio and select dissolve audio part. And as you can see, the chain icon immediately disappears and you can adjust the handles however you like. But as you have seen, audio parts can be very useful for grouping different audio events. And you can easily drag them into the files tab in the browser to export the whole part and save it for later use in other music productions. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss videos like this in the future. That's it for today, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.